I hope I I hope I'm not being too uh forward in asking you this, but um how do you deal with it? someone who knows. I, I, I've only heard things uh, about your past, but mm. we don't have to talk about it. I, I just... Sometimes I feel like two people. It's not just, it's not just uh, Oban. You have blood in your eye. Forgiveness is almost harder to deal with. I feel like anger is an emotion that I know how to deal with because that's where I live. But I feel like everyone being so nice and accepting, I don't know how to handle it. I know I'm, I'm not handling it well, but I'm trying. Um, Caleb is, is spinning a diamond over and 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 over in his hand. I don't think we can. But... Well, we are never going to wash our hands. We can use them to 
leave something better in the world. And maybe the curtain never rises from our eyes, but what, what else do we do? You either lose yourself to it and forget. Or you do your part. I couldn't agree more. The Empire, we all love the Empire. To an extent. And he gives you a keen look. How much have you spoken to my master about me, I wonder. I assume you're referring to uh, Mr. Ikathon. Of course. Only a little bit. You, you briefed me on your history. Mm. And uh, I must say, it is rather impressive to see someone who has gone through, escaped, and shucked the chains of the Volstrucker and returned uh, as you have with your friends. Well, I am a dis disappointment to my teacher, I am sure, as well as many of my peers. Your teacher's a disappointment to many others. <laughs> he has his uses, but... Uh, people are complicated, are they not? that they are. How much do you know about his teaching methods, I wonder? Quite a bit. He, uh, he put forth his designs, and they were approved by the assembly, and they first began developing the program for the Volstrucker. Though the extent of these things were not entirely part of the initial presentation. I understand that sometimes desperate requirements might call for unsavory methods. You are fully aware of these methods now, is that what you are telling me? I believe so. The program goes on. The program has changed many times. I know what a fool I have been for years. And I'm looking at him as if I am looking in a mirror. You didn't account for us good. That is life. Shit hits you sideways in life, and no one is prepared. No one is ready. These people changed me. These people can change you. You are not born with venom in your veins. You learned it. You learned it. You have a rare opportunity here, Thales. One chance to save yourself. And we are offering it. And I a hand on his shoulder, pleading with you to find your better self. He is still there. There is no path to redemption for me. If If what has been done comes to light, if what you are 
seemingly looking to correct is known, then I am a dead man. I lean in and kiss him right here. And say, maybe you and I are both damned. choose to do something and leave it better than it was before. But not now. Not anytime soon. I agree. I think if we blow this wide open now and I fault our country far more heavily than the dynasty, but if we try to grasp justice wildly now, as you say, Caduceus, it will spark the conflict. More people will die. I think we try to bring this day through and then find a way to surgically remove the problem after the fact, rather than just blasting it wide open. No, that would be really dumb. Gentle in your motives is all I ask. Always, it's always worth thinking about what you really want. It's the only thing that really matters. I want the murderers removed from power in my country. Why? Really, why? I'm tired of children being thrown on the pyre. That's what you really don't want. That's what you want, though. You want no more children on the pyre. Always remember that. You don't want to punish the people who made you. You want to make sure that no one else makes you. You'll get there quicker. I don't know, Caduceus. Me neither. Try and help. No more children. That I can get behind. I can get behind that as well. It could be a trap, though, and I need to impress upon you Ikathon is about as dangerous an individual as you will encounter in your lives, and Eadwulf and Astrid. Likely not too far behind, or maybe they can't they've... be as powerful as you are. <clears throat> they have a bit of a head start on me, Jester. How? They Were they there longer? Out. What? They didn't drop out. Yeah, but but you you have so many spells. You're so powerful, and you've been learning from lots of different sources. They only had the one source. Well, they didn't take a nap for a decade. But, um, just be ready for anything. He is powerful, Ikathon, but they, I can only guess at some of the things they have done since I knew them, but there is much that I do know, and they made the ultimate sacrifice for country. How old were you when you were here? As a young man, I was 16. 16? Yeah. Wait, you took, you slept for 10 years? Or is this just like a figure of speech? Yeah. Rip Van Widowcast. <laughs> I, I was um, <clears throat> not in my right mind for a long time. So you weren't actually sleeping? <laughs> Were you sleeping? No. Technically, no. Were you okay, because I... Okay. Was someone else, um... 
controlling you? At that time. At that time? No, not at that time. There are some gaps for some of you. Um, could we could we go somewhere a little more private than the street? Uh, Astrid and Eadwulf were, were willing to do anything that Ikathon asked of them, and their final test was to kill their own flesh and blood. And they did so. And and I am like them. What was? Am am like them. Was. We same. share a road with a lot of people. It doesn't mean that they're all the same, especially when you take a crossroads. So you, you, you did it? I, I, I have considered, um, sharing all this for a long time, but, uh, you cherish your family so much. And, uh, I suppose I enjoyed being seen as I, I should have been, or, or could have been. I just go up and give him a hug. There is a reason I have never told you about my mother and father. You must have been so sad, Caleb. I'm sorry you felt like you had to hide that. Well, I've been lying to you. And I am sorry. We lie. We lie about things all the time to protect other people. Sometimes to protect ourselves. Don't blame you for that. Um, wh whatever we're doing here, I, I've come home in the hopes of atoning. And that idea has evolved quite a bit over time. And I'm not sure what the exact answer is. But I mean to atone. What does atonement look like to you, Caleb? Well, I feel like the things that I have seen, no one should see. Never again. So we should put a stop to it then. Well, it's complicated, isn't it? It's wrapped up in the ruling of a nation. You've come a long way since me, you, and not we're huddled up in that hotel room I said then you had a responsibility and that none of us would see you differently no one should be put through that no, no one blames you Anyway, I, I've 
find it hard to imagine walking in there tomorrow and, and you not knowing the whole picture. That's the whole picture. Uh, I want to learn a little bit what's going on in my colleagues' heads. We saw them. Hmm? We were handing off the beacon. They didn't... They looked pretty far gone. I, I have to try. You think there's something redeemable? Think they're worth saving? They're worth saving, yeah. Whether or not we can, I don't know. Did they ever waver? Or have they remained believers this entire time? <clears throat> well, as uh, children, no. Not to my recollection. We were very avid in our duties. Uh, so you never wavered either? <clears throat> And it was the the final act that made you change your beliefs. <clears throat> so much time was put into stamping me into a specific shape was comforting to know your place and serve. The greater good. But uh, I, I, I failed my people, my people. They failed you. Yeah, didn't your yeah. your family sent you off to the academy, didn't they? They believed those same things, right? To a degree. Yes, my parents were very uh, big believers in the empire, but uh, they also loved me as holy as your family, Caduceus, or yours. It's not a failure on your part. It's a failure on the Empire's. I don't think that it's by coincidence that your core beliefs that you were doing something for the greater good led you to us and what we're doing now. That's the truth. Well, it remains to be seen what we can do, but maybe we can do. I had this conversation with Ford the other night. We were still on Rumble Cusp. You think we're doing good? What we're doing as a group? I do. I mean, that's pretty dope, right? <laughs> yeah, the Mighty Nine is... is pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Just the stage is a little bit bigger. Would they... I, I have a question. I, <clears throat> would they do this with every student at the academy, or were you just a select few that was uh, chosen? The Trent has uh, an eye for talent. Mm. And to my understanding, we were just the latest. We were not the first, and we were not to be the last. 
you three were a bit of a class. Yeah, uh... Boy, I have thought a lot about this for a long time and talked to no one about it. Uh, I don't know all the answers, but... We certainly all came from humble means. No family name to speak of. Uh, I was very good at what I did, even at a young age. Um, Ayat Wolf was uh, not only very capable, but he was strong, and I think that caught Trent's eye. And Astrid. Uh, Maybe is a bit like Trent. Maybe that's unkind. She had a hunger, ambition. Do you think the Academy knows what he does? Who's do you Trent? think? Yeah. Do you think like Ludinus goes, okay, Trent, now go find the people and now have them go do horrible things? Or do you think it's like he knows that Trent finds? these good wizards and brings them up to the forefront. Do you do you think anybody else knows the brutal things that he does? I, Someone knows. I don't... The Academy, I do not believe, knows. The Assembly... The Assembly. Someone has to know. Some of them... Ludinus uh, intimated that he had some idea. <clears throat> well, I hate them all now. Just so I have it clear, we're going to try and redeem Astrid and Adolf, but Trent, fuck him, right? Or are you trying to? <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's always been a fuck Trent, right? Just to be clear. Oh, no, do you sort of like Trent? Do you have, like, some weird thing because he, like, treated you nice a long time ago? I think a goal is always better than a grudge. What's the goal? That's very fair. I have my theories. Yeah. Well, I, I have uh, said many times that I would like to surgically remove the bad parts. It's not all bad here. But, but it, it seems uh, impossible. This can't go on. No more could, of this. It could go on. It has for a long time. Well, there's a goal. Yeah. No more. Whether that means uh, exposing him or stopping him, maybe we will land on that, but I need to know more about what different members of the Assembly believe. If he's been teaching for that long, is there a chance that there are members in the Assembly who were his student at one point in time. No. But just because you're his student doesn't mean that you're one of his protégés, right? Is there a chance there's more like you? It's what I'm kind of getting at. <clears throat> Got away. Maybe there are more allies out there. That's a very good question. I do not know the answer. I spent a very long time trying to stay as far away from as possible. Quite possibly not alone. Well, I take a lot of faith by what we achieved on the ocean. This nation doesn't need to be steeped in fear. The Empire has slighted the dynasty. It has taken a cherished religious artifact from them. Bloodshed has stopped because we merely gave them what was theirs. If that is not a lesson for people in power, maybe they do not deserve the power. Or maybe this system is too corrupt. I don't know. I think it depends on how deep the corruption has gone if it's worth saving. If something's too far poisoned, I 
maybe it's better to burn it to the ground and start something fresh. Mm -hmm. You and your brethren. You double in this. It's more or less what we do. Yeah. It's kind of our mission statement that I just said. Mm-hmm. Would they... If he needs to be cut out... Oh, yeah. Would they stand by? Yeah. The Cobalt Soul and the Cerberus Assembly have butted heads for decades. It's kind of the checks and balances system. And I just to try, just try to not let myself be too naive to the fact that corruption exists everywhere. Trent leans in. No questions then. So many questions. How's the new crop? How are your children? Oh, the children are doing well. Some more than others. Not everyone has the stomach for it. Mm. We lost a um, talented prospect not long ago. How did you lose them? They were captured in Rosona. Not blonde. No, in the Girl prison in, in Jordan. Prison. Yeah. <clears throat> What's your butt? Well, the Empire will always yield up more youth. Astrid leans forward and goes, So, Bren, um, we miss you. I'm glad to see that you're safe. And doing so well. I have good friends. They are good people. Are you are you trying to invite him back? Is that why we're here? Are, are you are you asking him back into the fold? Oh, I'm I'm not doing that. No. Trent kind of leans forward and his seat goes. I'm more. I just wanted to express my um, pleasure with Bren's, well, <laughs> Caleb's advancement as the prodigy I always knew he was. While some students take direct tutelage and study, some are unique in how they best develop through self-discovery, others inspired through hardship. Historically, the most talented mages have indeed walked this path. All the greatest ambitions come from those who have endured the dark and crawled their way back. So you're apologizing then? No, it sounds like he's trying to take fucking credit. Yeah, it didn't sound like an apology to me. <clears throat> of my handful of vigilant reaches, I've had a fondness for you three. And he gestures towards the three students. Erolf and Astrid are skilled in so much. And everything one could seemingly want in disciples and associates. And I mean this with all due respect to the both of them. Their potential is limited. Unlike you, Bren. You have the eventual makings of an assembly member yourself. And don't think my eyes are the only ones upon you for this reason. Some out of curiosity, others a threat. Forgive me, Bren. I could see your gifts 
and your faults and limitations. To truly grow, you needed to be broken and left to build yourself. It took longer than we anticipated, but when you were ready, we turned on the light and showed you the door. And he kind of takes something from the side of his setting and it drifts over across the table in your direction and lands at the front of your plate. And you see a familiar symbol, that of the arch heart. This is why I am not dead. Of course. If he wanted you dead, there would have been no escape. And I cannot tell you how proud of you I am. We are. And I know you hate me, Bren. Hate what I put you through. And I accept those feelings. For it was a hard choice for me to make. What I did, though, I did out of love. <laughs> to what end? To use me? No, to show you what you are capable of. It was your parents' wish, and I told them of the spark that I saw within you. They asked me to do whatever it took to help you realize it, for the glory of your family and for the Empire. I did just that as much as it hurt to hurt you. It is the greater man who puts the needs of others over himself, Bren. And this nation needs you. You will have to walk me through the logic of this long con. Because I do loathe you. Of course. But you do nothing flagrantly. Everything is very careful. Indeed. So how would you hope to use me as a tool? This isn't to use you as a tool, Ren. There isn't a word I could say that would find your ears with belief, correct? Say that one more time, <laughs> because of the social distance. Yeah. <laughs> there is no phrase or words I could say that you would find yourself able to believe. It's hard to forget the past. Then do not forget it. Use it. If I am to be the focus of your hatred, I accepted that long ago. But what you are now, what you've accomplished, those you've drawn around you, and where you go, that is because of what you've endured. Not because of a book you read in some hall with other sniveling rich children. You made yourself. Not myself, not them. But it took that path 
to accomplish what this is. And you're not the only one of us in the assembly to have been through similar trauma and been defined by it. Dead eye stare Astrid while talking to Trent and saying, You think that my mother and father, our mothers and fathers and children, should serve as grist for the mill in this way? Whatever it takes to keep the people of this empire safe. The wants of one do not outweigh the wants of the many. Right? Ed Wolf leans forward and goes, Barons made a sacrifice, yes. Like any soldier does on the battlefield. If we cannot protect our own, then all of it is a failure. Why did we get into this? Why did we serve with such vigor? If not to protect. You see, when talent rises from nothing, Nothing truly is lost. You are far more than where you came from. So you've sent me off like a wind up clockwork toy to serve the Empire. Am I right? What if the thing to do now is to supplant you, to pull you up like a weed and do better? You comfortable with that idea? Nothing would make me prouder. Let's take it further. I look at Eadwulf and then at Astrid. And he is out of the picture. And you, and you, and I carry the torch forward. We will mangle more children to feed the fields of wine and deer. Maid Wolf kind of sits back, crosses his arms, looks to Astrid. Astrid to you and says, well, if you were to be the bannerman of this tower that we are charged to, then we do as you say. If you want to bring more into this fold, we will. If you wanted to end, that's your command. What about you, though? What about me? When we spoke last, 
I had the impression that you were being groomed for this seat. She looks nervously over towards Trent. And Trent leans in a little bit. My ambitions and the paths laid before me are not always congruent. Bren. And she looks deadly serious towards you with a look of stop. You, you could come with us. No, I you could. You could. You could. No, I could not. We both have some thinking to do. Maybe. Are you talking to Astrid or Edwolf at this point? Sure. He's talking to Astrid. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, we'll be uh, out of the city soon. Don't know when we'll be back. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Her eyes kind of dart up towards the trees above. You hear again the. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a he's an owl now. I get it. <laughs> we can kidnap you, make it look like a real struggle. <laughs> she actually smiles at that. She goes. Appreciate the camper. Good, right. good spending time. Patrol cross paths again. He kind of puts his hand on your shoulder. She keeps bringing us together. I'm talking about like Trent. 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 Yeah. You want us to go to the worst people? No. I want us to go to the people who know him closest. Yep. Eudwolf and Astrid. There is a very visceral reaction when you mention Trent in Essex's face. Kind of a... We know. Yeah, he's the worst, do you see? I mean, unless you... Were, are you friends with him or something? Your dealings you? with him? We have had dealings, yes. Like... They... Like back channels? Trent. Back channels? It was Trent! I mean, I figured it out, but for Ford's benefit, can you just explain your relationship to Trent? <clears throat> Briefly, <laughs> Ludinus was my main contact in the delivery of the beacon and the sharing of information. But at times in which Ludinus was not available, Trent was sent as his envoy. And um, if you think I'm not worth trusting, do not trust yeah, we any one of the assembly, but definitely not. Oh, oh yeah, we're we're with you on that one. It's okay, Caleb. We'll figure this out. Can I just ask you straight out? I, I I've been wanting to for forever. If you had Trent Ickython tied to a chair, and he was powerless, and it was up to you whether he lived or died, what would you want? Yeah, yeah. Is, is everything wrong with this place? There are things way bigger than my personal grievances. As painful as they are. Save it for a rainy day is all I can say right now. Every day is rainy. When you save the world, you'll come back and kill Trent. And if we don't, he'll probably die anyway. Yeah. Silver linings. I don't have to be the one. I don't know. We just need something better, Caduceus. I think you're making the right choice. I think they're making a time and a place, but... Uh, 
Um, thank you. Your concern is appreciated, truly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>